Hi guys, this is Miss Willington. So today is Thursday, October 8th. Um, so I'm going to show you how you're going to log into ClassLink to go and take your Module 2 exam. So yesterday we reviewed over that, so now today we are going to take the exam. And if you haven't um, heard the lesson for the review, you can go in yes um, yesterday's October 7th. So it will be Wednesday, October 7th. And right underneath where it says, if you've missed the rec the lesson, here's the recording link. And you click on the reading lesson, and it's going to take you in um, to review. So it wouldn't hurt for those kids that are at online to kind of go over the review first, and then you can take the exam. So in class link is where you're going to log in to get access to this, to this module two test. Right here, when you log into your class link, you're going to go into the, um, in the student's app, it will automatically um, log into the page where they can um, scan their QR code. So I'm going to act like a student, scan a QR code. So you are going to need your QR code to get in and your lunch number for your username. And you have a whole bunch of apps on here, students, so you know that. You are going to this orange and blue E with an exclamation point. It says Eduphoria for students. You're going to click on that. And you're going to put in your lunch number in the username. So I automatically have mine saved, so I'm going to erase Mrs. Fullington's email, you're going to put your lunch number here. You, if you, again, if you don't have access to it, I'll be happy to send it to you through Remind or Seesaw for your parents so that you can have access to the test. Your password is going to be jackets, and it's all lowercase, so J-A-C-K-E-T-S. When you're done, you're going to press sign in. So this is where I really need you to be. Right here it says 2000 or 2020 second grade ELR module 2. You're going to click on that and it's going to take you straight to the quiz. Now um, on Seesaw, I have posted the um, actual test here, but you will not um, enter in your, your answers into Seesaw. You will do it through here. And I have Mrs. Mickelson actually giving you the test. And so um, that way she's able to uh, read you the test and the test questions and answer choices. So that way that you can um, do this on your own students. So that way parents don't have to sit there and, list, and um, actually help you. We have it already laid out for you. So this is where you're gonna put your questions in when you are done reading the test. Okay, and so there are a total of, let me see here. There are a total of 16 questions. Now, when you press review and submit, the, see right here where it says unanswered the red bells. Mrs. Fullington did not answer any of these questions. So make sure that it has answered with the black and white check mark. And then when you're done, you're going to press submit to score and you're going to log out again, so I'm finished, so I'm going to exit the test because this is another student, so you're going to press this red button once you're done. This link right here, when you're finished with the with the exam, will disappear, so it'll be a blank uh, rectangle, and you'll log out, and you'll be done for the test for the day, and so... I just want to tell you guys to please make sure, guys, that you are taking your time on this test. You're not rushing through it. If you need to reread it, reread it. Because let me tell you, there's so many times where I've seen students could have gotten a 100 on this test if they reread it and took their time on the test. So good luck, guys. And I will see you on Friday. Okay. Bye.